we've been discussing the Buddhist philosophy of change, of life as a flowing, dynamic pattern process, which is essentially immaterial, because it isn't anything you can grasp. We use the word substance, we use the word solid, we use the word matter, or something you can catch hold of, or stand on, or rely on, or cling to. And the basis of the Buddhist philosophy of change is that there is nothing of the kind. There is nothing to hang on to, nothing to rely on, nothing to cling to. But, when we say, you see, something matters, the word has a double meaning, in that it means that it's substantial and that it's important. And so we are brought up from birth to play the game of life in a certain way. There are certain things we are told by adults who were told by their adults who were told by their adults that these things matter. And one of the fundamental things that matters is that you go on living. And so everybody is tremendously concerned with the things that matter that they've been taught to value. And because these things actually don't matter, that is to say, because they're not substantial, but they're all a flowing pattern, a flame seems to be a substantial object that's there and it could burn you and it's, you can watch it for a long time. Actually, it's a stream of hot gas. And so, likewise, the human organism is a stream of energy. It's never the same for two seconds. Only we've been taught to watch that thing and to cherish it and value it and it matters, damn it. And yet it's going to wear out and yet it's going to get sick and yet it's going to die. So everybody is involved in playing the game of life in a way that goes beyond play and becomes deadly serious. And as a result, the whole of existence is lived in a state of constant frustration. Because you are trying all the time to hold together and to preserve something which in the long run can't be preserved at all. And therefore, in response to this cry of pain, which everybody puts up as a result of being in this situation of trying to hold on to things, the wisdom of the various ways of liberation, be they Hindu, Buddhist or whatever, is saying to everybody, wake up, see what the scene is. This is the kind of thing that's going on and you are not a captive in a trap. You're not just some mere little measly being that somehow or other was brought into an insane universe. But you are what the thing is. You are not the victim. You are the system. 